Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the number series para sa inyong math review. So, we have here six different problems. Here, here, this one, hanggang letter E. So, let's start with item number one. We are given here 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. So, dito kasi, para madali ang kayo number series, you need to know the pattern first. And, dapat medyo alam nyo rin yung ibig sabihin ng arithmetic sa kanang geometric sequence. Along the way, I will do a short recap about arithmetic and geometric sequence. So, let's start with letter A. For letter A, 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14. Ako ang una kong ginagawa rito, when I am doing number patterns or number series, ang ginagawa ko, I am subtracting the first, second, second, third, third, fourth, para makita ko yung kung may pattern ba sila in, in terms of addition. So, ang ibig sabihin dito, let's say for example, itong 2 and 5 natin. I will start with 5. So, 5 minus 2. And as you can see, that is equal to 3. Then I have 8 minus 5 is also equal to 3. And then, 11 minus 8 is also equal to 3. And as you can see, repeated yung pattern natin. Parang yung ibig sabihin nito, for you to get to the second term, you need to add here 3. You need to add here another 3. You need to add here another 3. You need to add here another 3. Now, to get the next term, all you need to do is to add 3 from 14. So, plus 3. And the answer is simply 17. Ganun lang siya kasimple guys yung item number 1 natin. Now let's proceed with item number 2. For number 2, we are given 33, 27, 21, 15. Now, sir, maaari ba natin gamitin yung, ano, yung pattern natin? Yes. Pero kung mapansin nyo lang, from 33, 27, 21, 15, descending or um, mula sa mataas, papunta sa pababa yung ating numbers. Meaning, yung... Expect natin na mas mababa sa 15 yung answer natin. So, what will I do? Same pattern with number for the letter A. What I will do is I will have 27 minus 33. And dapat marunong din kayo sa integers. Ang 27 minus 33 is simply negative 6. Yung 21 minus 27. 21 minus 27 is equal to negative 6. Okay? Same with 15 minus 21, which is negative 6. By the way, guys, ano, hindi pala lahat ng ano, hindi pala sa unang take ng pattern na iniisip nyo, possible na yung, yung agad yung magiging tama. So, dito, nagkakataon lang na yung ginagawa kong pattern, ay alam ko na, at sa unang take pa lang, sa unang test ko pa lang, ay tama na agad yung pattern na nagagawa ko. Kaya pagdating sa number series, huwag kayong uh, titigil kapag hanggat din nilang kukuha yung pattern. Okay? So as you can see, nag-subtract tayo ng 6 or mag-add tayo ng negative 6 para makuha natin yung succeeding terms. Parang ganto lang. Dito, minus 6. Dito, minus 6. Dito, minus 6. Now to get the next term, yung 15 natin, bawasan natin ng 6. Minus 6 tayo. Ibig sabihin nyan guys, the correct answer here is 9. Okay? So, let's proceed with item number with letter C. Sa letter C natin, guys, dito, tataso na ito ng konti, guys, ha? Sa letter C natin, meron tayong 3, 6, 12, 24. Dito, nakikita ko na agad kung paano ginagawa ito. Ang nangyayari dito is that, look, 3 naging 6, 6 naging 12, 12 naging 24. Ang naging pattern dito, nag-multiply lang tayo ng 2. Times 2, times 2, then times 2. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung next term natin guys for this pattern is 24 times 2 and the answer is 48. Ganun yung pattern natin dito. Now let's move on with letter D. With letter D, we have 8, 27, 64. Tapos dalawa yung hinihingi sa atin dito guys. Dalawa. Now, etong numbers ito, medyo familiar ako dito. Kasi itong 8, 27, 64 natin are perfect cubes. 
Ibig sabihin yan, yung 8 natin is equivalent to 2 cube. Yung 27 natin is equivalent to 3 cube. Okay? Yung 64 natin is equivalent to 4 cube. Yes sir, ano next natin? Ibig sabihin yan guys, yung missing number natin is the answer for 5 cube and 6 cube. So ano po bang ibig sabihin ng 5 cube? Ang ibig sabihin guys ng 5 cube ay 3 times may multiply si 5. That is 5 times 5 times 5 and the answer is 125. So importante rin na ano, kabisado niyo yung perfect cube numbers kahit at least 5, 5 lang o kaya 10. So this is 125. Yes sir, paano po ito? That is also equal to 6 times 6 times 6. Sir, mahirap po yan ha. Ganto na lang, i-break down mo na lang. 6 times 6 is 36. Tapos 36 times 6. So, i-multiply natin ito sa another space natin. So, 36 times 6. Ito ay magiging 6. 3. Okay? 3 times 6, which is 18. Plus 3, that is 216. Ibig sabihin guys, yung fifth term natin is 216. 16. So we have here 216. Now let's move on with letter E. For letter E, 4, 6, 9, okay, 13, 18. So sir, paano po yung pattern yan? Parang hindi po siya times 2. Hindi po po siya perfect cube. Tapos hindi rin po consistent. So tanong natin ha. Para makapunta tayo sa four, from 4 to 6, ma, ma, para makapunta tayo, siya ay 2. Tama? mag a tayo ng 2, plus 2. Ito naman, from 6 to 9, mag a tayo ng 3. Dito naman, from 4 to 13, plus 4. Sana nakikita niya yung pattern natin guys ha. Dito naman ay plus 5. So, kung mapansin niyo yung pattern natin, we have plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5. Ibig sabihin, to get to the next term, you need to only add 6 para makuha mo yung next term natin. Which is six, which is 18 plus 6, that would give us the answer of 24. Diba? Mukha lang siya mahihirap, pero ang technique kasi dito guys, kailangan familiar kayo sa mga basic patterns para medyo i-skip nyo na yun or madali nyo siyang recognize. Ano kasi dito eh, pagdating sa patterns kasi more on practice tayo dito. Next natin for number um, 2, uh, 6, 13, 25, 51. Look at the pattern guys. 6, 13, 25, 51. So ako dito, nakita ko agad na ano, na yung 6 para maging 13, mag-multiply ako ng 2 plus 1. Multiply ng 2 times 2. Plus 1. Pero, ang tanong dito, Sir, maging effective po ba yan para sa 13 to 25? Pag nultiply natin yung 13 and 13 by 2, that is 26. So, sobra na siya. So, ang gagawin ko ngayon dito, ang pattern ko ngayon dito ay times 2 minus 1. Check natin ngayon kung uubra. Kapag ba yung 25, binultiply natin kay 2, maging 50. Eh, may 1 pa tayo. So, that is, ang pattern natin ngayon ay dito ay, ang pattern natin ngayon dito ay, times 2, plus 1. So, mapansin nyo, alternate yung pattern natin. Dito sa unang pair natin, times 2 plus 1, times 2 minus 1, times 2 plus 1. Ibig sabihin, para makuha natin yung next term natin, that is, times 2 minus 1. So, mangyayari dito, yung 51 natin, Dito na ilalagay guys ha. Yung 51 natin is times 2 and then minus 1. 51 times 2 is 102 minus 1. That will give us the answer of 101. So this is 101. So I hope guys na you learned something from this video. And shout out to Sharpie sa pag sponsor ng ating video. Sila yung official pen na ginagamit ko when I'm creating this kind of video tutorial. So... Guys, kung natuto kayo sa mismong channel natin, I hope na 
i-share and mag-subscribe kayo sa mismo channel natin. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!